Here's how to convert number grades to letter grades in Microsoft Excel. In my sample worksheet, I have the exam scores for some students. However, I want to convert those number grades into letter grades. The letter grade conversion would be as follows. Anything less than a 50 will be an F. A score between 50 and 59 would be a D. A score between 60 and 69 will be a C. A score between 70 and 79 will be a B. And finally, a score above 80 will be an A. I could do this with a bunch of if statements and logic operators, but there's a much easier way. Since I have the number score to letter conversion chart right here on the right, I can use VLOOKUP to make the conversions much easier. The first thing I'm going to do is insert a column in my scoring table on the right. In this column, I'm going to enter the lower bounds or values of the scores to the left. In cell G4, I'll enter 0, G5 will be 50, and so on. Let's begin in cell D4 with the following formula. Equals VLOOKUP, followed by an opening bracket. The first required parameter is the lookup value. In this case, it would be the exam score in cell C4. I'll add a comma, and the next parameter is the table array. In this instance, it would be the range of values in our scoring table. I'll highlight the lower values column and the letter grade columns. Before I go any further, I'm going to click F4 to make sure when I copy this formula, it always refers to this exact range. Next, I'll add a comma, and then the next required parameter is the column index number. In this example, it will be the second column where the letter grades are, so I'll enter a value of 2. Finally, I'll add one more comma before the final parameter, the range lookup. This can either be a true or false value. A false value would mean the VLOOKUP is looking for an exact match, whereas a true value is looking for an approximate match. For this example, I'm going to use true for an approximate match. The VLOOKUP will look for the closest value you can find in each row. So in the case of Peter Griffin, the closest value is 0 because the next row in our scoring table would be a value of 50, which is higher than his score. I'll now add a closing bracket and click Enter. Peter's letter grade properly shows as an F. I can now copy the formula to the remaining rows, and all the student letter grades are now showing. Of course, you could add more options in the scoring table if you wanted to include letter grades of C+, or A-, and so on. This is why using VLOOKUP is far easier than doing a large number of IF statements. If you found this video helpful, check out this one right here.